Now this is Unity of Dallas, half the neighborhood. We used to have the White House here. This is where I put my labyrinth. John Barnes had a circle labyrinth up here and he had it lined over here, but we sold these 3.8 acres to another guy and they, he tore everything up because he's building big homes up there. This is the one that I built. I have basically, I was gonna do a lot with this. I was gonna put past on, I was gonna have flowers, I was gonna have a fountain. I have a note here of how to walk a labyrinth and I have a special note over here because we have uh, 12 houses on the east side of us and they have dogs. And so labyrinth ahead, come linger a while, find grace with each step or some peace or a smile. Feel free to bring Fido or Lassie your spot, but mind puppy manners, thank you a lot. And that was by Anonymous. Because I don't know what these dogs are doing, but they're li leaving love offerings and I'm the one that has to clean it up. So. so that's what I put on the tree, how to walk a labyrinth. See, mine is very simple. I had 80 bags of these white rock uh, stones. There's, there's usually on these things there's seven channels on one side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is Forest Lane. This is another one of our chairs. But, uh, you know, they came and they dig this all up. I got 23 hidden crystals in there, too, for whatever it's worth. So this is very simple. This is very inviting. The other two we had were on the parking lot. Uh, Carla Bass is a friend of mine. She has an iPhone app, which is, looks at the, your aura. And so uh, this, is on, this is on the line when we had the straight line. The circular one was here. Here's a dumpster. I've got, this, I've got about four or five of these things, but I had a friend give me this big thing. And so she just decided to take my picture after we walked, it's similar to Fred, when uh, he has these rods and they go out like this. So that was kind of an interesting thing she did for me. This is a new one. Uh, this is called the uh, Mayan Labyrinth and it deals with pyramid energy. This is kind of strange and it has uh, one, two, three circles. You come in on the red and you come around here and here you change to the blue when you come out. And you come out here and you go all the way around you come out here blue all the way around. Now you'll notice it also has six circles. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll talk about them in a second. Things like this with circles have symbology to them. So let's take a look real quick. In the corporate world, this is, a, this is Target. If you read the Arantia book, that's what this is. Atlantis also had the circle symbology. And this is a portal. A little bit on Atlantis real quick. That's kind of what it looked like. This was a small island. They had a big island below it, and that's, that's another story. That's the symbol for Atlantis. Those are the people that lived on Atlantis. And that's this one here now. This circle up here is for uh, prayer. Circle over here is for healing. So when you're walking this and you set this up, you have the six leaders that go in. The people want to do prayer come in here. There's a little opening here in the prayer that want to do healing go here. The people that want to do meditation are here, a Tai Chi or yoga. These people are playing uh, flutes or instruments. These people here are playing drums. And these people down here are toning. So if you look at this from the top view, where you get your pyramid energy at, is like the movement of a watch. And so you have your watch and you're looking at it and you have all this movement going on. And so because of symbologies of the circle, because of all this movement of these six circles, you get a different type of uh, energy. I need to read here. <clears throat> when this old world starts getting me down and people are just too much for me to face, I climb way up to the top of the stairs and all my cares just drift right away up on the roof. So if life is tough for you right now, and uh, <clears throat> if you don't like going up on the roof, and if you have the money to pay Ed Musk money to get on the SpaceX flight to get off the planet if you want to, or when we get this done in uh, the end of the summer or fall, just come on over and we'll portal on out. So this is Unity. <clears throat> All this property here has been sold. Uh, the Red House will get rid of it if we need more parking. This thing is uh, 52 by 76. The one that I want to build is 48 feet across, so I'll build it in here. We have some damage there, so I'm going to get that done. So that's what it looks like. So in summary, uh, you find a labyrinth, 
you set your intention and also what are you grateful for as you walk into the labyrinth after your intention that's your past when you get into the center and rest and pray or whatever that's your present and as you walk back out you're coming into your future and so remember the key thing we are the artist of our own reality and that's all folks so This is in the, this park is in the southeast of Hot Springs. Uh, the architectural students at the University of Arkansas at Fayetteville have built this whole thing. I was happy, but I needed some protection. 